Hey there, Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies, and today I want to share a thought that comes from Thomas Leonard, who was one of the grandfathers of the modern life coaching movement. He wrote a book called The Portable Coach, which was later turned into the uh, 28 Laws of Attraction, which is an incredibly practical book around how do you attract the things uh, in your life that you want. And it was full of uh, really useful distinctions. I want to share one of them, which is about uh, how do we deal with... Uh, reacting or responding to circumstances in our life and he talked about four levels and the levels are these overreacting reacting responding over responding so i want to walk through these so overreacting is when something happens and you have a reaction that is disproportionately large to the actual event that happened you know um it's one of the definitions I've heard of neuroses is the, the present being swamped by the past. So you're not actually responding to what's happening in that moment. You may be responding to it reminds you it's triggering something from the past, and but you're bringing all of that to the present. So that's the overreacting. Reacting is something happens and you have a a very visceral kind of response and maybe you act in a way you, you don't like. It's not a particularly thoughtful uh, it's not a response, it's a reaction. It's a reflex more. You know, there's no, there's no big accomplishment in having a reaction to something. Then there's that level of response. A response is where there's some labor in it. There's some thought. There's a slowing oneself down, a reconsidering a more measured response, and making sure, am I really responding to what's happening, or is this just reminding me of something? And then there's over-responding, and this is the provocative idea. So before I explain what over-responding is, let me go back through them. So let's just imagine you drive to work every day on a freeway, and the traffic's terrible, and somebody cuts you off. Overreacting would be trying to run them off the freeway, you know, uh, following them all the way to where they're working, getting out of the car, you know, harassing them, yelling at them, screaming. That's an overreaction. Reacting would be somebody cuts you off you swear at them you flip them the bird and you um you know you're angry maybe the rest of the way to work responding would be to cut you off you probably have this kind of reaction with you whoop hold on let me focus and make sure i'm safe i'm doing okay everyone else driving around is safe and maybe you even think uh you know maybe they're having a hard day maybe there's a crisis maybe there's someone in the hospital i don't know and you just kind of maybe even send them some light, just think, okay, well, I hope that they're safe and they get where they're going and don't need to drive so fast next time. Over-responding would be saying, do I really want to work at a job that I have to drive on this freeway every day? Yeah. So over-responding is taking whatever's happening and using it as a launching pad, using it as a lever, a fulcrum, a, a, a decision point um, to make a bigger change in your life. It's harnessing whatever is happening to the yoke of um, bigger questions. You know, thinking a bigger thought than this person shouldn't have cut me off. But just how do I want to live my life? So whenever you have a challenge in your life, uh, certainly there's an invitation to respond and not react and definitely not overreact. But the thing that I got from Thomas, which I'd never, it was a thought I'd never thought before, was that you could actually over respond. You can take a very small symptom, something that doesn't seem very big at all, and use that to actually restructure your whole life. Um, you know, there's a, a life coach and he realized he, he loved hiking, but he was on the phone all the day and he didn't like that. So overreacting, you know, might have just been, um, I don't know. You know, I'm going to quit coaching entirely and forget the whole life coaching industry is a joke and all this. Reacting to that situation might have been just complaining about it a lot and, um, you know, bitching about it to others. Responding could be, okay, well, I'm going to make sure I set aside an hour every day to go hiking and be thoughtful, but over responding. Uh, one of his friends said, well, you know, they got these Bluetooth headsets and couldn't you just go hiking and talk to them while you're hiking or invite them hiking with you and change the entire structure of your, your business? Could be another example. So 
I invite you to consider that. If you think about something in your life that traditionally you react to, but traditionally there's an end in your business where you're, you have this consistent uh, reflex to. Consider not just responding, consider over-responding. Consider looking at that thing and asking yourself, how could I use this as a doorway into a much bigger, more significant change in my life so that this would never even happen again? You know, if you think, oh, why do I want to work? Could I have a job where I don't need to drive these kind of distances? You never have to contend with that um, stimulus. You know, again, you may be able to remove that from your life entirely, or at least on such a regular basis. So anyway, it's not always possible, but it's the thought I wanted to share with you. So again, overreacting, reacting, responding, over-responding. I invite you to over-respond to something in the next week.